Hi, everybody. My name is Mrs. Brumbaugh, and I teach band here at Nisqually Middle School. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is the obvious. The question that I get, I get asked a lot recently is, how do you teach band remotely? Well, it's going to be very different than what you're used to. Obviously, we're not going to be in the band room, as I am right now, for a while. And that's OK. Is th this beginning of the year, we're going to focus on you, the individual musician, and how to get you prepared to play anything and to play with a good sound and to be confident in your playing. So I'm going to be focusing on individual musicianship this year with all of my students. How we're going to do that is we're using a brand new online platform called Music First. We are not using smart music. So that's something that's a little different from last year for those of you that have uh, been through our program before. Uh, music First is great because it's made up of all these different um, platforms that teach things like music theory, um, ear training, so what to listen for in music, um, performance assessment, there's various tunes you can learn, learn how to read different rhythms. So we're putting everything into one, um, one package so that we are creating well-rounded musicians that get a little bit of everything. So I'm very excited to be using that technology and it, it's gonna make our musicians that much further along. Um, you will be using Canvas to find out your assignments for the week. Everything's gonna be done in weekly chunks. So the first day that you have class that week, you'll learn what you're doing for the rest of the week. We're doing a combination of synchronous and asynchronous learning. So there'll be some assignments that you do um, just online, maybe with or without your instrument, and then other um, assignments will be in our live classes. So what you're going to need for sure is your instrument in good working order. You're going to need to have a maintenance kit, a cleaning kit. So how to take care of your instrument, we're going to talk about how to do that as well. And a place to practice at home that is free from distractions. That includes cell phones, um, TV, um, other people in your family that might might distract you during those classes if you can. We'll do what we can um, to make accommodations if we need to, but if you can try to find a, a good place to practice, um, that'll help you be successful as well. Um, we'll talk about instruments in the next few days on how you can get one. Um, some students own their own instrument, which is great. Um, if it's in good working order, we're set to go. Um, others are continuing to borrow the same instrument from a store that they rented from last year. That's also great. We have a lot of um, local music stores to choose from, and they have contactless uh, rentals so that you don't have to go inside a store at all. If you um, call them on the phone or fill out a form online, they can get those instruments to you um, safely and securely with either curbside pickup or they can deliver it to you. So that's an option. And then we do have a limited number of district-owned instruments. We're trying to save those for students who are in most need. Um, so really be thinking about that as you make your decision on what instrument you want to play and how you're going to get that. Um, on that note, we have larger instruments that are available for our sixth graders and specific seventh and eighth grade students, such as tubas, berry saxophone, bass clarinet, tenor saxophone, um, French horn, baritone, so larger instruments. And I want our sixth graders to know that you can change instruments this year. We're actually starting from page one. We're gonna go all the way back to the beginning. We lost a lot of class time last year as fifth graders. So we're gonna start from the very beginning. You can know a little bit about music or nothing at all, and you're gonna be just fine. And so if you tried the trumpet and it wasn't your favorite instrument and you wanna try another brass instrument, this is the time to do so. So you'll be receiving some more info on that shortly through emails and Skyward and um, information on Canvas on how to if you're interested. If you do want to play a larger instrument such as bass, clarinet, tenor, saxophone, um, tuba, and baritone, we do have those instruments here that you can borrow so you don't have to go to a store for that. We just need to communicate and get um, that figured out with, with parental permission too, of course, to take care of that. So, um, assignments are going to be a mixture of, like I said, playing and not playing. So there'll be um, lots of different opportunities to grow. Um, in terms of performance assessment, I will be listening to you play predominantly. Um, for those students who would like to play during our live sessions, there'll be those options. Some assignments I will ask you to play for me. 
and we'll talk about what that looks like online and with with screens and, and whatnot but i will need to be able to see students performing so that's a, a big part of your grade obviously and since we're not in the band room it'll be important that we can see you on your screen um, moving forward uh, some of the questions we need to answer for our videos what do you love about teaching at Nisqually. Um, this is such a wonderful community. I love our students, I love our parents, I love the support that we have here. This is a wonderful district to work in. And um, I've been working all summer at developing what we're gonna be doing this year. So I'm really excited to work with our kids. I think this year is a blessing. I know band is gonna be different, but I want you to, to trust me that we're gonna get through this together and we're gonna be better musicians because of it. And our band program is gonna be stronger because of it. So. Um, keep that in mind as we go forward through this and it, it's going to be a great year everybody I'm very very excited if you have any questions for me whatsoever please email me at k brumba that's b r u m b a u g h at n it's north thurston n thurston dot um k12 dot w a dot u s and um, I'm happy to answer any questions you have um, I'm here to help and um, we'll get through this and, and have a great time doing it. I'm looking forward to a great year, everybody, and I'll see you soon.